nervous to talk about it. Oh my word, it's my I don't job. know. Yes, it makes me nervous when you're like, what? yeah, I got it, I got it. And I'm like, I have no idea what you're going to talk about. What, really? Well, okay. I have an idea, obviously. I put the topic down here. Yeah, yeah, we don't put any effort in this thing at all. So just turn it off now. All right. Um, <laughs> but you're driving me. I'm driving. And I'm talking, and I'm driving, and all you're good for is holding that phone. Um, all right, so. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, New Year's resolutions. So last year we made a resolution to lose weight. And if you look in the our old videos and today, we we've, we've done that. So, you know, how do we do that? We we made small obtainable goals along the way and accomplished those goals and then kept on building. So for example, consistency. Consistency. Right? Eating kale one day did not help us lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> we never ate kale cuz kale sucks. <laughs> All right, so if your New Year's resolution is to have a better marriage and to fall in love with your partner and to connect... And hey, you both hands on the wheel there, buddy. And connect on all of the leads, we call them, emotionally, physically, spiritually, psychologically. Okay. Yeah, no, that's the same thing. All right. no, I'm... So, Go on. <laughs> if, that's a big goal. Just like if your goal right now, you're going to make a New Year's resolution to lose 150 pounds. Well, that, wow. That is so far yeah. that it's it's almost obtainable. Unobtainable. Unobtainable. Yeah. It's, it's almost just, obtainable. You just give up. For You're the like, right mindset it is. A weekend I've lost yeah. a half a pound. It's not worth it. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Or my spouse doesn't respond. Forget it. There's no point. Right. right? So to, to have a better marriage next year and to fall in love with your spouse again, it isn't big huge moves it is a lot of simple easy things that you could do every single day yeah. that really really will help you get there yeah so and I will I will pick on us because why not um, I am a physical touch person and she is not a physical touch person she is a robot and you can buy one at <laughs> Ikea but they're really hard to put together um, very hard <laughs> should see the manual <laughs> There's pictures with Ikea, man. It's all in German oh, or Swedish word. or whatever is Ikea. But anyways. That's just not my love language. It's not her love language and she hates me. But <laughs> she wants to communicate that she loves me. So then what she does is that she puts an alarm on her phone. And every like four or five times a day, we talked about this before, there is an alarm that I can hear, that everyone can hear, is that literally just says love on Tim. No matter where she is in the house, she will come and love on me. Wrap my arms around him, give him a little love, smack him on the butt, because kiss him on the cheek. I'm something. physical touch. Mm -hmm. If it if it was words of affirmation, she would walk into the room and go, "You are one sexy beast," and then just walk out, not touch me or anything, because that's <laughs> all I need. And I mean that just works with me too. I need service things. I need servicing. Yep. She needs servicing <laughs> a lot. Service. You know, the... Have to pull a number. Yeah. Right. You know, I need the, the kitchen swept. I need the dishes put away. I need I need help. These are my love languages. And so, you know, I mentioned, hey, I, I don't feel like I'm... I'm not feeling loved because I'm not getting what I need to feel loved. And if you say that kindly you and you don't... It's not. Okay. And, you know, if you do that on a regular basis, not um, wait until you blow up at each other... That's not good, but if you do it on a regular basis and you do it little by little, it becomes a habit, just like anything becomes a habit. Loving on your spouse can become a habit. Bringing them coffee in the morning, just tiny little things. Maybe it's just sending them a text throughout the day that says, I love you and I'm thinking about you. Think about what their love language is and what would really make them feel loved. Tiny I, little things. I object. Nothing. I don't want you to think about their what their love language is. I want you to figure it out and have a conversation beforehand. And then literally come up with a simplistic plan for you both to follow so yeah. that you fall in love with one another. Absolutely. Like, no, like for good. example, if you're not Yeah, if you're not being intimate once a week. But okay, just do that once a week. Try one thing. See yeah, if you can do thing. that and see how long you can make that consistent until you actually miss it if you do miss a week. Because you might love kale chips, but since you never eat them once a week, you will never have Are like Are you comparing the, um, sex to kale yes, chips? Sex and kale. <laughs> That's the name of this video, Sex and Kale. Sex and Kale. <laughs> oh my word. But it's the, it's the same thing, just like going to the gym. I would tell you if you wanted to lose weight, the first thing you need to do is go to the gym 
once a week. Yeah. Not every single day. Okay, and then you're burn gonna, yourself out. You're gonna burn yourself out. Yeah. But doing little little things that your little tangible things that your spouse helps you to find is the major key. Yes. Doing little little things that your spouse doesn't care about, like for example, if she walks in the room and says, Hey, you're a sexy beast and walks out, that's gonna do nothing to me. But if she walked in the room and said, hey, you're a sexy beast, and then grabbed a hold of me, that's gonna do a lot more. Because I think we, we love on people a lot, and we're like, I love on you all the time. I don't feel it, because I'm not doing what makes him feel love. Right. So you figure that out, you talk about it, you put some tangible things in place, you'd be surprised at how like, well, a month's gone by, and I've kind of had the best marriage I've had in a couple of years. It's been really nice. Right. And that. I would say that the, the biggest key phrase, if I could if I could tell you what your marriage resolution should be, tangible. Everything that you do for each other needs to be tangible. Real things. Real, real things, things that not, you can do. She knows that I love her because I enter the room. Not that's not tangible. And I'm not feeling loved, and I would I want you to just love me. That's not tangible no, either. I want to feel secure. What does that mean? How, what does, does, that actually how does that look work like? out? Yeah. What does security look like? How can I make you feel secure? How can I not make spending you feel all loved? the money on Amazon Prime? Right. You know things like that. Not you know where we have to sit down and do the bills. We don't have any more money. These are tangible things that make someone feel insecure or secure. There's a bazillion ways, but you've got to actually be tangible with it. Right. So. Tangible marriage, awesome, awesome phrase. Tangible I, I, marriage. Tangible marriage. And so that's that's the biggest thing. Doing tangible, small things, make them a habit, and then add another tangible, small thing, and then when it becomes a habit, then that's how you be you All of a sudden you love kale. A great marriage. Yeah, all of a sudden you're having sex four times a week rather than just once a month, like you probably are now, or less. Yeah. And I'm here to make you copulate. <laughs> I was wondering what you were going to say. But, but right. you kind of understand that. So tangible, 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 tangible things. And if you don't know what tangible is, look it look up. It up. <laughs> things that you can actually accomplish and do and write them out as a couple. Write yes. out, these Put are ways to make him feel secure. Put these are ways mirror. to make him feel love. These yes. are ways for that she likes intimacy. These are ways that he likes intimacy. And they don't have to be a list of a hundred things. It's just right. a list of two or three. Yeah. And that way that. you can, you can work through that and then and then go from that point figure out what you want your marriage to look like in 2019 do you want to go in more intimate do you want to go deeper do you are you happy where it is do you want to find something out new about your spouse you know write those things down and figure them out and then go back to that list on a weekly basis did i do these things this week is this something that i'm keeping up with yeah and have the conversation if you if you're happy in your marriage make sure that your spouse is as well and if yeah. they're not then you're gonna have to work through that and have conversations to work through that exactly set goals make them tangible goals and, and tell you, your partner about them yeah yeah <laughs> so just I want like, to have a great marriage but I'm not gonna me. tell anyone exactly yeah. talk to people yeah right. talk to people and well, communicate to us and we'll give you more tools yeah. on how to have a happy marriage well here you go that's it 2018. Man, That's we've a done wrap. this 52 times. No, we've done it for two years. Oh, we've done we've it 104 done and, times. I've done it more than that. Wow, well, you doing? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, we love you guys. She's perverted. Whatever. We yeah. will see you in 2019. Happy New Year. Hey, have sex. <laughs> <laughs>